Anyways, uh, I went to Cracker Barrel and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got there and she saw me and she immediately pulled away. And uh, I, I wasn't forcing her to listen or anything, you know. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me. You know? Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there, and I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh, shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and... Uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me to chase her. Do you not think chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just, like, I, I only went, like, a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they when they obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing, and I wanted to, like, her to hear it, maybe. Well, apparently she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Insane video there of a, I guess, a gentleman who decided he called the police. And that's who he's talking to about a potential threat on his life after he showed up as he self he admitted, uh, followed, harassed, and uh, asked this one woman who wanted nothing to do with him for her attention and her time. Yeah, he showed up and he's complaining to the police about his actions, hoping that maybe that'll be something to help him out. Uh, let's look, first of all, this guy uploads a lot of YouTube videos under Jaker the Knoxvillian Sentinel. Uh, okay. Um, Incel vibes, man. Incel vibes. Hundred percent. Not only vibes, but absolute proof. Uh, let's go to this next uh, part because he continues to talk to the cops. It got much worse. Now, uh, just so you guys know, there's some uh, sexual assault type of terms he's using here and very creepy terms here, but he thinks it's all normal. But just just be warned about that part. Let's watch more. Um, well, anyways. Her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's going to stab me. Like, but he, he's like cussing did at me. He said that or he did say that? He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. They're a little no, bit of no. excitement. No, they don't. Well, we don't like to be chased. What about like if I was a porn. father, I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDS and porn where women like to be have rape fantasies? Well apparently this girl doesn't. Well, who knows? What most women do like having rape fantasies. Okay. Do you think she does? I don't know. But apparently she don't. Well so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file just in case he does do anything do you, do you to me. Do you know his name? I know his daughter's name. He wants his name on file, Conscious, just in case something happens. You know, I want this man's name on file just in case something happens to me after I followed his daughter, stalked her, tried to play her a random song that she didn't want to hear, talk about fantasies of rape, um, sexual assault, and maybe even murder. Who knows? It doesn't matter. I get to do whatever the hell I want. These are the vibes you point out, Conscious, incel vibes. There's more to it, but I'm curious what you have to say. As, a, as an educator, they don't want me to talk about patriarchy. They don't want me to talk about sexism. They don't want me to talk about masculinity or rape culture because that is quote unquote woke propaganda. Yeah. But we see the real lived experiences that women have to deal with when it comes to dude trying to weaponize the law because you don't want to you don't want to consensually have engaging with them. You know what I'm saying? And then the black man in me made me realize like, damn. This white man just admitted to the law enforcement that you have committed, I don't know how many crimes. I know my <laughs> black ass would have went to you and said, hey, listen, I'm stalking her. Her daddy want to whoop me. I, 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 I got rape fantasies about her. I'm pretty sure the law enforcement would figure out at least four or five legal terms to project onto my body. And the fact that he was able to do it and not think nothing about it, it really made me feel like, damn, so ignorance of the law can be a privilege to some. Ignorance of the law can be the reason for others. And it's like, man. You call it ignorance of the law, and I agree. But it's possibly knowledge of the law, because the law will allow someone like him to do exactly that. It's just the difference in the law. Just saying. So as you point out, you wouldn't have made it out the door. He did. In fact, he got in his car, and he was not done talking and broadcasting his insult behavior. Let's watch more. Leave her alone. Okay. Fathers will hurt you over their daughters. 
Yeah, but that's the thing is she needs to have her own free will, man. You do listen, you understand? Listen, I'm a listen, man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I need listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. Well, we're not doing anything. You need to leave. I don't know. Something. Um, the cops want to deny. Me trying to get her to be straight. Something is wrong about that. I don't see why these traditional ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent LGBT shit that has her right now. And her father is controlling the bullshit. I just don't see it. I'm older than her father. I don't want to step on the point you were about to make, but as we watch that, Contra says, I knew it. What part did you know? I knew that he was going to be fueled by some anti-intellectual, old, I love the police, but the woke police is bad type shit. You feel me? Like, usually when we talk about people talking about women empowerment, talking about women autonomy, talking about reproduction rights, talking about rape culture, talking about anything that can be correlated to women's identities. It's always dudes like that that see it as an attack on them. So it's like, how dare you, officer? I'm a man. You're a man. I want to possess this woman. This woman is obviously not conforming to the way I want to possess. This, this excuse my French. This is breaking the law. Law enforcement, get her. Her dad is going to try and exercise his Second Amendment rights, which I assume that they would support, <laughs> as we've been talking about for half the show. By the way, so the vibes from that car. Let's keep it real. This is the first person I thought about. Let's look at this graphic from a, a previous person who I think held the same types of beliefs. Elliot Roger, who, as we saw, I think it was a Santa. A, Barbara area murdered a bunch of or murdered women because he was upset about being rejected. Which, by the way, every, I mean, I assume so, maybe someone is lucky enough. Every guy that has ever tried to holler at any woman from teenage years really? up to adulthood has been turned down in their lives. Oh what God. you can do is relax. <laughs> yeah, on oh God. You, you've been turned down before and you can just live with it. And if you can't live with it, you should go to therapy and deal with the insecurities that you have on about your own manhood and about your own masculinity and why you think women that don't want your ass should be held accountable for your insecurities. The second thing I'm really thinking about is the intersection between cisgender, able-bodied white men being enabled to do whatever the hell they want to do, and specifically how stigma is attached to groups. I.e., when the new Black Panthers or any group that deals with black people or people of color or women, that group is easily ostracized and stigmatized because, hey, two people out of the 1,000 women did some bad for the whole group bad. We can have multiple groups of, of incel members that just happen to be cisgender, heterosexual white men break out into crime and violence all the time. And that stigma is not attached to that group. I think it's something here in terms of gender violence and how white privilege have an intersection with each other. And it, and it, it works out every time. And by the way, um, I think as you, it, it, a little bit from that Emily told me yesterday when we were talking about this, the, uh, the woman that he's stalking and then apparently wants to conform to his way. Um, she apparently, he said she's caught up with the wokeness and the LGBTQ stuff. So apparently she's not even interested. And fellas, that's his first problem. Uh, there's there's a lot of folks out there. There's a lot of women out there, uh, whatever this guy name is. But he's not catching uh, uh, up to any of them because this is his approach. This is what he believes. This is who he is. Uh, these are those warning signs that we like to talk about that we see before anything really, really bad happens. There's some comments on this. I'm curious what everyone's thinking about this before we jump into the.